So you've decided to take AP World History Modern. Well, you've made a great choice. Uh, and let me tell you why. Uh, in no other courses in the history uh, department will you learn more about the world around you. Um, in this course, you're going to read a lot of chapters. Um, you're going to do take a lot of notes. But what most importantly is you're going to start to understand the world in which you live. And uh, that's the premise of the course. Uh, the most important thing you're going to be doing this year as you traverse these complex and intricate uh, events in history, is you're going to be uh, learning about what it means to be a global citizen in the 21st century and looking at the past events and trying to understand and uh, comprehend like all the things that have happened throughout human history, um, starting with 1200, the Mongols, uh, up until modern day. Um, my name is Mr. Inneker, of course, uh, and if you didn't know that, uh, but I will not be teaching the course this year. Ms. Perez will be teaching um, as she joins CBS this fall. But I just wanted to take a minute and let you guys know what the course is all about and to give you the code for the summer classroom. Here it is right here. Uh, take a look at that and join the summer Google Classroom. Uh, Ms. Perez or myself um, may add some things in that, but if you join that right now, um, that has the Cornell notes, uh, methods and videos, and also how to read a textbook. Um, those would be the things that you need to focus on over the summer. Uh, in there, I explain that we'll be starting traditions and encounters, the textbook we're using, will be starting at chapter 17. Uh, however, I'd like you to take a look at chapters one through 16 and choose any two chapters you want to start with the Cornell notes, because uh, that is an important skill you're going to need, need to learn over the summer. And it's really important that you get, uh, get a, have a good understanding of, of that process before the class begins. Um, I would suggest chapters 14 and chapter 16, as that deals with Islam and Christianity, as I mentioned in the Google post. However, you can, if you have another chapter that you're really interested in and want to read about and take notes on, that's up to you. And I would suggest that and if you want to do more, do more. Uh, but as you begin the course, um, you're going to be focused more on skills than it is content. We want to teach you how to read better, how to write better, how to think better. And that's the whole premise of the course, and we do that while learning some history in the process. Um, I don't think, actually, I can honestly say that most students leave this class um, with a great understanding of, of world history, but also with much more confidence in their abilities uh, as a writer, a thinker, and a, uh, and a learner. And so I'm happy that you're taking the course, and good luck. Um, and yeah, have a good summer. See you.